guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Duty Philosophy of War and yeah we're still here in the uh, <laughs> I just said like a, a huge a huge brain fart we're still here in the bar and looks like they don't let me pass huh Okay, come with us, German. Where to? Veronin has a job for you, don't move, everything's fine. Well, let's go. Okay, well, looks like I have to go talk to Veronin, huh? Oh, that's fantastic. That's what we need, right? It's not like he's going to shoot us in the face or something. I hope. But I'm not looking very forward to it. Uh, how are you, General? I'm fine, German. Why did you call? Sorry, no vodka, so you have to listen without getting drunk. Okay, I see. Okay, German, I'm telling you what I know, what I think about it, and wh what we're going to do. Your group stumbled upon the large operation of Apocalypse in Pripyat without being afraid of clearly superior forces of the enemy. Enter the battle, which means honor and bravery from you, but at the same time insanity. Uh, we received a message and threw a SWAT team into Pripyat. The next thing we know, the military suddenly decides to support the search, and the search pro receives this support. I want to know how the military became aware of the need to send helicopters to Pripyat, and then again we intercepted a message from them, whom were already on board, heading back to their bases that the search has loaded trophies ZIL-131 and apparently help is no longer needed. The helicopters were ordered to return and on radar the flyers notice four groups and lines of tracers. Connecting these groups the command immediately ordered the soldiers from Rostock back to radar. So the military was also involved in the conflict. You also came through radar. What did you saw? Uh, there is a war general. Yeah, and the main thing is, there's no messages from there. I would have sent intelligence, but something tells me that the scouts won't be able to contact me either. Now, what if, now what I think about it. Five neutral groups are destroying each other on radar. Okay, in the dark valley, it's not so scary. Do you know what I mean? Well, you're not stupid. Uh, five groups lost their minds and got into a war against each other. A stalker from the search group German goes between the warring parties, as Mikoyan between the jets, and comes out target oriented to the warehouse. And even his head does not hurt. Doesn't hurt or does it? Then the German goes to the base of freedom, talks twice with Dr. Lecter, once, the, once with Lukash, and goes straight to the bar. Why don't you tell General Voronin about the riots on radar and the corpses of the duty fighters in the warehouses? I begin to think badly of you, German. Why are you a loner, German? Well, it's my business, General. My business and my right. Well, um, uh, okay. So you're not Lukash's spy? You left the search decidedly on your own? Well, it happens. What did you talk about with Lecter and Lukash? You won't say? I won't tell you. Why? You know I brought a patient, Gosh or Grisha, to the base, I don't remember? Cut off or something like that? Cutter. Yeah, that's right, Cutter. See, you already know everything. What should I do now? I know what. I have two options for you. The first is to enter into the duty. You're talking ab over the surveillance. Of course, the second option is that you don't join duty, but you cooperate us on our tasks. Have time to think, German. You can say no. Well, if the assignments do not conflict with my conscience, I agree to cooperate with duty. And thanks for that, German. Go to the bar, find Panzer, our head of the first apartment. He will tell you what to do. Panzer, the one that Benia? I didn't see him at the bar. Maybe he was off somewhere? Well, that's great. Now we have to go look for that guy. Uh, we need the insulin to save the other guy. This is ridiculous. Uh, 
find Colonel Pels or Duty's chief intelligence officer and talk to him. Okay, so he should be in, in power according to him. He's a panzer. <laughs> well, that's one hell of a nickname. But I... See, that will be a lot of going back and forth. Well, that's stalker mods in a nutshell, I guess. Hey Zorik, uh, well give me your stuff German, everything? These are the rules, trade union policy, get your stuff back on the way out, oh I see. Uh, yeah, this is Gene Ackman. Oh, there he is, call no pencil. Any questions? Hey boss, I didn't think uh, I'd get to work under your guidance. Happy? Well, I've dreamt about it since I was a kid. Okay, we'll talk about barefoot childhood on Kreschatik in the beer that a beer hall if we're alive. You shouldn't have refused to join into duty. You lose some privilege now about our cooperation. Yeah, I'm listening. I see you've got a knife in your hand. Suvorov is right. The bullet is stupid. Yagmesser is good. You know how to do it, and that's good, because the first thing you have to remember is that from now on your shield is a trench coat and your weapon are poison and the Jagdmesser. Well, it's creepy. It's a figurative expression. Simply, you watch, listen, smell, taste and remember. To get to any point of the sun without any problems, you need neutrality. Is this word familiar? If you forget how to do it, I remind you, you look into the PDA, click on reputation, look. If you don't like something about a group, you go to the gene hacker, don't be cocky, don't be afraid to be friends with mercenaries or hunters, they will suspect you. Neutral is enough. This is the second one. Third, on the mission you behave like a, a good-hearted person, you don't get involved in the showdown and you don't get it out of your hands. You're not offended by anything, is that clear? Clear, chief. Well, I didn't like your tone, German. Any unfinished business? Uh, two of them. Take the cure from Cider and one conversation with a foreigner was not finished. A foreigner? You mean Burger? Yes. He's a nebulous guy. What were you talking about? He wants me to find three certain stalkers. All three are missing. He asks to find at least one of them. Who are they? Names. He didn't have time to say. I told you, we didn't finish. Well, there's something about that. Make a deal if he gives us names. We will think about it. No more business. Good. You will go to the cordon for the insulin for the dark valley. The task is to collect some information. Farm factory. ADP people groups. Uh, Mindless rumors. Send, leave, get the gun, run. You don't go down to the laboratory and under any circumstances. Okay, I see. I like working with you already, German. You don't ask me anything, everything is clear to you. Like you trust me, hmm? No. Well, we drink to the test, that's an order. Cheers. Cheers. Cheerio. Okay, so we need to go get our stuff back first. Yeah, there's some sort of anomaly there, for some reason. Uh, let's go get the insulin. We need to go through Dark Valley? Okay, well that's interesting. Yeah, that's that's brilliant there. Well, to the Dark Valley we go, I guess. And we hope we'll find uh, something interesting to do or something. I'll have to find out what happened in... Uh, in the Dark Valley. I think there's, you know, people shooting at each other there, maybe. I don't know. They were not very clear. They were not very clear. This whole thing is shady. I know, I know, pseudo dog, I know that you wanna play with me, but I don't wanna play with you, so bye. Bye. So long. Go eat the corpse or something. I don't feel like playing with you. I'm not your owner. No, I'm not, but I could be. I think a, a pseudo dog for a guard dog. That sounds like a bad idea all around. Because it, it could always turn against you.
and then you'll be like dead because it would eat you but yeah well if you guys really want to know um, for the time that I'm recording this video nothing has been done about my car yet so what's the point of having insurance if the insurance company is not doing anything hey brother hi can I pass oh yeah of course I won't warn you a sniper is in the flea market is a total asshole so be careful okay thank you well I guess we'll take care of the of the sniper hello mr. sniper I'm going to shoot you in the face now Hello? He is here somewhere. Oh, he's up there. Oof. Well, that didn't go very well for him, did it? I got to keep his gun. There's uh, someone down there. Well, his body just fell off. Um. Hello. I'm really sorry, I'm a little bit ill still. I haven't re fully recovered yet. So I'm still... Uh... He's a bandit. Well, he's a dead bandit now. I don't want to steer the... The hornet's nest. I don't want to get attacked by dogs. Another bandit. Okay. Well, let's go to the dark valley. Well, we easily dealt with the uh, with the stupid sniper. I just put a bullet in his face, and it was like, yeah, that. Not, not even, not even five seconds. We'll see what's going on here in Dark Valley. They don't want me to go to the laboratory, but they want me to go to the bandit's base and uh, the farm, if I'm not mistaken. See what's going on there. So yeah, <clears throat> let's do some exploration. Yeah, I, I didn't sleep very well as, uh, as long as I'm ill. Looks like it does not let me. Oh, they're doing a barbecue, huh? Okay. There's a guy burning. Oh ho! Oh, look what we have here. Where are you? Where from? Where to? I've got Nigel, a stalker. I'm coming from the bar, heading forward to the army checkpoint at the cordon. Why for the valley? Has the situation changed at the garbage? Uh, I always take this way. Mm, okay, but this is the first time I've seen you around here. Well, I also never saw you here before. I need to move on now. Wait, wait. I see you are a man of antimony. Well equipped. You seem to have some experience. You should talk to our eldest. He has some confusion about the zone. Would like to be enlightened by someone who has no confusion. Stalkers. But usually they are hiding in the bushes for some reason when they see us. So you get a tank in here and they'll stop hiding. Ha ha ha, very funny. So you want to talk? Who's in charge? Bezak, he's at the gas station. Tell him Bor sent you. And then I'll share a bonus with you, alright? Alright, no really, just just a word. Was a darn effect here. This guy got cooked. You enjoying your barbecue, buddy? Hope you are. I was going to say that there was another dead guy over there. Looked like a cool gun, but if it is good or not, I don't know about that. We'll see. Put on this gun, which is a very, very good gun. I think it's the, the ammo that makes it even better, but I... Well, we were going to go here anyway, so... 
I guess. There is a lot of people here. But that's not the gas station. There's no one at the gas station. Oh, there's a vehicle here. Oh, that's neat. That's really neat. Hello. Uh, hold, password. Uh, I don't know. Mm, that's right, where to? Boar sent me. You should have told me right away, come in. Bye. Can I come in then? Please? Fine, I'll go around. Oh, there we go. It's just being a jerk. Cool gun you got there, buddy. Oh, another car over there. Hello? They're all well armed. Are these guys in military? No, they're veterans of the zone. That's interesting. Vet no, that's... no, the... Veterans of the Zone. Veterans of the Zone and they want to talk to me. That's weird. That is very, very weird. And of course there's no one there. Oh, there he is. Let's see if he has something that I can steal. No. German, that's great. Are you feeling good there? Uh, shots fired. Where? Oh, I get it. They told me that a, a well-equipped warrior is coming here. I didn't know that you're the warrior. Shall we talk? But I don't offer you a drink. It's not the time to drink. Honesty for honesty. Well, how else? Only in this way. You were north of the bar? Yep, yeah, north of it. There's a war going on at the radar. You wanted to know something about radar, didn't you? Not only that, and north of radar at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Well, I wasn't at the power plant. Again, something starts there too. The surge bumped into apocalypse, then Slavit came to me out of nowhere. I left from sin, I saw freedom, warriors in the kindergarten. Look, German, you're like a human compass to us. We need a guide. Lead us to the Chernobyl nuclear power plant two groups. I wasn't there once, Basak. Shit, can you tell me a good guide? Come on, you know someone. How soon? Uh, we need an experienced, decent and silent man as quick as possible. Okay, uh, how can I let you know if I found someone? You'll bring him here on your feet, I'll pay you 50,000, is it okay? Okay, now tell me, Bezyak, what's going on around there? It's been a long time since I've been here. Uh, we are in charge here at the factory, over there at the old ATP are some bandits. Their leader, Lesha Borman, is an honorable man, I think. Soldiers flew by twice on the third day, but somehow there was no shooting. In general, anything was calm in Baghdad. Well, probably it's raining on Santiago. Okay. Uh, what the hell's the matter with the rain? It's a month of dryness. It's just drizzle a little bit sometimes. More questions? No? Well, for now, I'm waiting for you with the guide. Alright, good luck. Would you like to buy some cool weapons and stuff for me? There you go. He's now a very happy man. Now that I sold him a bunch of stuff. I thought that just materialized right there. Oh, these are static. You can't drive them. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, let's see if we can talk with these bandits since we're here and all. See you later. Hello Mr. Bandito. I need to pass, thank you. There's some shooting over there. Well nothing that has to do with me to be honest. There we go. It's more than than one way to go through here. As things are not very, very... Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, I really, I feel really, really ill and I'm having a hard time focusing Goblin. Dune. 
Oh, it's a uh, guy. Lesha Borman. Hey, Annie, what do you have in mind? Hey, Lesha, they told me that a gentleman bandit showed up in the valley. Well, I came to see it with my own eyes, and surprise, here are you. Lousy place, German. Boring as fuck. I think we may move closer to the bar, or... The duty will accept. No problem. You should know, you shouldn't stop on your boots, German. You know, bandits don't go beyond the wild territory. You're throwing the net in the wrong place, bro. Alright, Lesh, I'll see you again. Be my guest. Eh, give me your supplies. Doesn't allow me to steal this stuff. <sighs> be nice if there was like a trader here. We could uh, take their stuff and sell it to the trader. Make money. Well, yeah, I can't go through here. Game says no. Not my way. You stinky bandit. Go wash yourself. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm being mean. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's head to to the stupid factory over there. Then we'll head to, to the car park or farm or whatever it's called. In the end, and we'll, we'll end. In the end, we'll end. Yeah, hold on. This is really good. I think there's another one here. If I'm not mistaken. There is two really good artifacts here, so might as well pick them up. Yeah, I know, they're from the vanilla, but uh, there's no such thing as a, uh, bad as a free artifact. Uh, yeah, plenty of these. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a really good artifact. Yeah, we can use that to run. It's okay. Let's see what's going on here. Yo, boys, what you guys doing here? What's going on here? Can I come here and steal your stuff? Is that okay? This guy looks important. Hey bro, I saw you somewhere before. Alright, you are German from Search. Well, once again, great bro. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey Luti, are you guarding the entire entrance to the lab? Uh huh, I'm German. If you need anything, go to the Godfather. You speak of the devil. Consultations are over. What did you say that for? Well, okay, bye Luti. Yeah, I'm not going to the to the thing. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else here that we want to talk to. Oh, I'm looking at the back and I'm looking. Hmm, there's probably someone here that we might want to talk to. Nah, just a regular bandit. I don't know if there's still a RPG up there or not, but. We'll have to find out another day. The hell was that? Do not like that sound. Oh no. It's the meows. The evil cats. The bad cats. Mutant cats. <coughs> not the good kind of cats. I don't like the bad kind of cats, nor the bad kind of dogs. They're both bad. But this guy was going to shoot at me. And they have a, uh, another cool vehicle that I can't drive. Mod creator, this is not fun. You the boss? Low stalker on business or what? Hey Commander, I was passing by, I see that the monster trucks are pretty cool, so I came to feel what a miracle I had never seen. Had a look, now go on nice man, shape up or ship out. You're mean. <coughs> You're mean, lol. Well, I'm going to end the session here. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay well. And I'll see you guys next time.